what is up guys here is my 10 year deck profile for the june 2020 format 10 year is such an amazing deck it has so much versatility and the nemesis cards add a new dimension to this deck that wasn't previously accessible i'm telling you now guys get in on these nemesis and 10 year cards they are going to be so good in the next format so we start off with three ashuna ashuna is a really good card for the 10 yard type being able to chew or anything from your deck it does lock you into worms however that is usually not a problem as most of your deck is worms then three vashuda again a great card for bouncing your opponent you're using this deck usually blind second so vashuda is really strong just for bouncing a card off your opponent's field and also for starting your link plays and then one of the other 10 years and i play three at horror so three at horror for the recycling and then Sathana, Mapura, and Hara, we play those at one. They are all okay cards, but you really just play them for the different names. You don't really want to see more than one copy of any of these in your hand. Vessel for the Dragon Cycle, this card is amazing. This card plus any Tenyi is a two card combo into your Link 4 and having your Link 2 on the field as well, which is amazing. And that's all due to this card that it synergizes with, which is Mare Mare. So Mare Mare goes really good with this deck and this card in general because it can be sent to the graveyard using Vessel or discarded with your Link 2 and then you can bring Mare Mare out and it's basically a one card Link 4 by itself which is amazing. Then moving on from that, the, the second option is to send a Protoss and then Protoss can be revived by Umbrella with your Nemesis card. So this Nemesis package also works really well. However, if you don't send Protoss off Vessel, you can also just search them directly in Flag. And what makes this especially good is Flag will recycle one of your banished cards. Tenyi banish themselves as a result, they banish themselves to do things a lot of the time. So having this small engine to sort of recycle your banished cards is really strong in Tenyi. And moving on from that, we have a World Legacy Engine. Now this engine is really just there for two reasons. The first is that it's a free monster reborn for your deck, which is amazing. The second is that Mech Knight Orcus Gesu provides a token to make your effects of your Tenyi's live in the graveyard. And on top of that is a one card link to, or you can go into Lib and then climb into access code instead to spin back a card. So Mech Knight Orcus Gesu is a really nice normal summon for the deck. Rods the Reborn, really standard card, it's good going first or second. Pot of Aris, this deck runs through its extra deck so, so fast. It's so easy to get Pot of Aris live, so I love having this at three in the deck. I'm always happy to see it. Moving on from that, we then have three Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. It's a really, really strong card. You're gonna wanna have that this format, especially going second. Same with Infinite Impermanence, Vela and Ghost Ogar. With these hand traps, you do have a lot of options. You don't have to stick with this exact ratio. It's really down to whatever you think is going to be ideal for the current tournament or format that you are in. Then moving on to the extra deck, we have three Monk of the Tenyi. Monk of the Tenyi, really good starter for your deck. It's just the Link one, we always like Link ones. Lamb for Linkus, this card is also really strong, a nice Link 2 to go into just in case you run out of Monks, though you shouldn't. Between your Avarices and your Nemesises, you should rarely run out of your Link, of your Link ones. Two Shaman of the Tenyi, in most Tenyi variants, you would want to play this at three because it is such a strong card. It discards a worm, it discards a card to special summon a worm in your graveyard. This facilitates a lot of your bigger combos. However, in this variant, I have a lot of recycling power, a lot of grindability, and so I only play her at two. Then the little tech in this deck. So before the Mech Knight Orcus gets you first, I play Lib the World Clean Blade Master. But on top of that, I also play one Galatea and one Ding Gearsu. Guys, this is amazing. One of the really, really nice things about having Mech Knight Orcus Gearsu is that I can make Galatea and then Dingy very, very easily in this deck for a three for a free send. So think of this almost like a slightly stronger nightmare package. This is why I don't play Phoenix and I play this instead. Because this sends a card and it does not target. And it's similar to Phoenix X, instead of having to discard a card, so instead of negging from the hand, I take that neg on the field because I had to use two cards to make Galatea, but then it's only a free ding issue once you get Galatea. So this is a really strong package to have in this deck, and I would really recommend it. Even if you're not playing 
mech, uh, a mech mac deck if you're playing mech mac orcus skiss and have two spots in your extra deck i do think it's worth playing one galatea and one dingus just for that ability moving on from there we have unicorn standard and then the tenu links the tenu links and access we play one of each of these just because they're all really good cards to have you don't need to see them more than once and then one draco berserk with the tenu again a really good card if you can get it on the field then in the side deck i've got a lot of options what's nice about ten years is it's quite a small and compact package and so you're quite flexible in terms of picking other techs and options either for going first or second so cool by the grave a great card for this deck melody of awakening of awakening dragon alongside arc nemesis Shatos, really really good in this deck you can bring him out instead of arc nemesis protos and lock your enemy out of certain types Phoenix again, you can play her instead. Boral Sword, budget alternative to access code. Omega is really easy to make in this deck as you bring out level. You have a lot of level one tuners, you have five different level one tuners, and you have six or seven actually different level one monsters. Mare Mare also hits level four after making four tokens and is a tuner, so you can combine her with these as well. So it's very, very easy to bring out level eight synchros in this deck. Then the different hand traps you have no material, not bad this form. Matt Gamma again really good and Gamma combined with the Nemesis cards is really 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 strong you can just keep recycling your um, Cyphering driver and keep using Gammas and if you put Lambda in your deck your Gammas are always live Phantom Sky Blast is an alternative to August Gearsu it is at one unfortunately but it does the same thing for this deck Sphere Mode this deck does not need a small sum so Sphere Mode is great Phantasme Nibiru again really really strong cards to have in this deck so let's go on to a test hand so guys here we've got a test hand for the deck and it's not too bad so the first thing we do is activate the shooter now the funny thing is what you need to remember is i'll be going second with this so already i've got a bounce and i would have had destruction of ghost ogre so i'm going to use monk of the tenny i'm going to special some monk of the tenny then vessel to send mare mare and after I've sent Mare Mare, I'm going to add a Shuna to my hand. And the main reason for that is just so that I have that ability to keep extending. Then I'm going to make a second Monk of the Tenyi with my Adhara. Now at this stage, I'm in a really, really, really strong position because I haven't even normal summoned. I don't need to normal summon, but I haven't even normal summoned yet. Now I'm going to use a Shuna, lastly, to bring it herself out. And then there's a nice combo, or sort of combo you can have when you have your Shuna and Hara, which is you go into Shaman first, then what I can do is use a Shuna to bring a card out of my deck so I can carry on extending. I'm going to bring out Safana because she is nice to have. And then I can bring out Adhara, add that Shuna back to my hand, and then use Shaman's effect to discard that same Shuna, essentially offsetting her cost to bring out Mare Mare. So again, I'm in a really strong position here. Bring up Mare Mare. And now I'm going to be really greedy by making another monk. And that's because I have an Avarice in my hand. So now I use Mare Mare to bring out the Link 4 by special summoning two tokens. And so now here we have Sasahara. And then I'm actually going to just leave two more tokens on the field and the reason why i do that in this deck is because sasahara does like having a token on the field to protect everyone else so when you have a non-effect monster that space up your opponent can't target your effects monsters for attacks or card effects so that's why we like to save that last mare mare token just to make that we've also got a mare mare here just to use for anything so what i'm actually going to do is hit an avarice now put two monks back Actually, you know what? I'm going to put all three monks back because I don't really need them in my grave. And then I'm going to put an Ashuna back and I'll put an Ashuna back. So I've put all of these cards back in my deck. I've drawn two. And now look at that. Two more hand traps. So my opponent, after breaking their board, have a bunch of hand traps. A great field that they probably can't break through and they are almost certainly going to die next turn. So that's just a little bit of what you can do with this 10 new Nemesis build. So guys, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more amazing deck profiles like this, and I will talk to you all soon.